as the Son has life. Whoever does not have the Son of God does not have life. I write these things to you who believe in the name of the Son of God so that you may know that you have eternal life. This is the confidence we have in approaching God that if we ask anything according to His will, He hears us. And if we know that He hears us, whatever we ask, we know that we have what we ask of Him. If you see any brother or sister who meet a sin that does not lead to death, you should pray and God will give them life. I refer to those whose sin does not lead to death. There is a sin that leads, leads to death. There is a sin that leads to death. I am not saying that you should pray about that. All wrongdoing is sin, and there is sin that does not lead to death. We know that anyone born of God does not continue to sin. The one who was born of God keeps them safe, and the evil one cannot harm them. Amen. 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 Um. We're going on with the word of God tonight, but before we go on, I've got a testimony. I talked about this other opportunity yesterday where they said that they were preparing for an offer. The offer came today. The offer came. Yeah, we give glory unto God. The offer came. We give glory unto God. Um, and the, in the morning, when I hear after this offer came, uh, the other agent called and said that ah, also those other ones, they are preparing for an offer. They said that they were not going to wait, we are preparing for an offer. So no, no problem, let them prepare an offer. They will we'll see when they compete. But we give glory unto God who fulfills his word. Anyway, let us go straight to the word of God tonight. First John chapter 5, verse number 12. The Bible reads as follows. Whoever has the Son has life. Whoever does not have Son, the Son of God does not have life. I want us to, to understand. Whoever, the Bible says that whoever has the Son has the way. And whoever does not have a son does not have the way. Um, then the Bible is talking about the whoever have the son have the way. The way is a God kind of life. That means everyone who have got Jesus Christ as their Lord and their Savior have got eternal life. The God kind of life is the way. That's why Jesus said in the book of John, chapter 14, verse number 6, Jesus said that, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one can come to the Father except through me. I am the way, the truth, and the life. Jesus is life. And the Bible said that whoever have Jesus, whoever with the word son is talking about Jesus, in the Bible, whoever have Jesus have la eternal life. The God kind of life. When you're talking about the God kind of life, eternal life. Also, the Bible says that in the book of John chapter 3, verse number 16. The Bible says that, For God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten Son, so that whoever will believe upon him shall be saved and have eternal life and have eternal life and have God kind of life. Whoever accept Jesus Christ as their Lord and their Savior, that person, Jesus Christ, give them the life. The God kind of life. Jesus Christ has got the transforming power Power that through it, he is able to transform us from being ordinary people and to become the children of the living God. And after that, 
when you've got we are the child of the living God, you have got that God kind of life. That's what the Bible is saying that whoever have the Son have eternal life, have the God kind of life. The life that the Bible is talking about is not ordinary life. Not everybody have eternal life. Everybody have got the ordinary kind of life. The life that you have received when you are born. But we are not just born. Everyone in this world is born. But as we, when you are born again, you are not just born. When you are born again, you are, you are like what the Bible says, that you are born again. Born again into the kingdom and receive the life of a kingdom, which is eternal life, the God kind of life. And when you are born into the kingdom, you become the child of the kingdom, with the character of the kingdom, with the qualities of the kingdom, with the Holy Ghost, with the Spirit of God, of the kingdom. That's what the Bible says, that whoever have Jesus has life, Zoe. But whoever does not have this Jesus does not have life. Some people are looking for life, this kind of life. How can I be connected with God? How can I be connected with God? Some people are wondering that. How can I be connected with God? I've heard about being born again. I've heard about being saved. How can I be saved? You know, when I'm talking about that, I remember the man by the name of Nicodemus. The Bible said that this was Nicodemus. Nicodemus was just not just a nobody. Nicodemus, the Bible said that was one of the Jewish leaders who have been serving God, who have been spending time in the temple of God, but because there was no Jesus, he was not born again. He was not saved. And the Bible said that Nicodemus watched from afar, he saw what Jesus Christ is doing. He heard what Jesus Christ is saying, and he was so much interested. On Jesus, it was like, oh, I want to know more. I want to know more. How can I know more? What can I do? And the Bible said that Nicodemus, he went to Jesus Christ during the night. When nobody sees him. But the Bible said Nicodemus went to Jesus during the night. That's what the Bible says that in the book of John chapter 3, verse number 1. Now, there was a Pharisee by the name of Nicodemus who was uh, a member of Jewish ruling council. The Bible says that, verse number two, he came to Jesus at night and said, Rabbi, we know that you are the teacher who cares come from God. For one could not perform signs you are doing if God were not with him. Nicodemus said, oh, I've, I've heard what you are. You are talking about is so glorious. I've seen, I've heard what you're doing. It's so glorious. But Nicodemus wanted to know more. And the Bible said that Nicodemus, he went to Jesus Christ during the night. Nicodemus went. But this time, those of uh, Jewish leaders, Jewish council, they did not want to associate themselves with Jesus openly, even though there was a definite truth and definite proof of the works that Jesus Christ was performing, of the word that Jesus Christ was speaking, that Jesus Christ indeed is the son of the living God, is God who have visited them. But they were in denial. And they could not, because of pride, you know, sometimes it's just a matter of pride, because also of pride, even though they could tell that Jesus Christ has the life and is the son of the living God and is God, but they were in denial and they didn't want to go. Pride. Some people, they're like that. When some people are like that because of pride, no matter when they see that, okay, they are sick, they are looking for help. But they go like, no, I wouldn't go, I wouldn't call, I wouldn't do this, I will not do that. It doesn't mean that some of the Jewish leaders, they were not sick. Some of them were sick. Some of them, they had problems. Some of them, they were going through challenges. That they needed Jesus. 
but they had too much pride and uh, that they didn't want to go there openly like Nicodemus also it, it, it doesn't what I'm talking about doesn't exclude Nicodemus Nicodemus was the same when I say Nicodemus was the same he doesn't go there during the day he goes during the night at least he went but others never even went never even go some of them like like Jairus the Bible said that Jairus when his daughter was sick even though he also he was a one of uh, Jewish leader the Bible said that Jairus Jairus just because her daughter was too much sick and her daughter was about to die and he have tried everything that he think he can save the daughter and the daughter was not getting well he goes he goes and he kneeled before Jesus and come and pray for my daughter but he's coming to Jesus very late because also of pride it's just that he was humbled by what he was going through let me tell you this sometimes some people to go to God and look for the help most of the time they go only to God when the problem is too much and they can't solve it and nobody can solve it then that problem humbles them and forces them to seek for God that's why most of the time the problems challenges are the call back from God problems and challenges are, are called back from God otherwise sometimes some people are so proud that soberly when nothing is happening they won't dare to go there are only some people who have only prayed because things were tough there are a lot of people like that some people only prayed because people things were tough some people only prayed because they were at the funeral and because of what was going around there oh they were so sorrowful they were so hurt and they were forced to pray because it was just a funeral otherwise that person have never prayed don't even know how to pray and uh, unfortunately they wait for problems and challenges and went for when they go there when they are under problems and challenges that's when they begin to pray or seek God but in a normal circumstance we have got those people that who will never who have never prayed because of one of the effector is pride it's pride they think ah if I'm gonna be seen going to church what will people say when things are well most of the people say those kind of things but when things are tough like what we're talking about for example Jarius he did not care who was there he did not care who was there he did not care who was seeing him he knelt down and said Jesus my daughter her daughter his daughter was sick and his daughter was about to die just because of what he was going through but in a normal circumstance can Jairus just kneel down no you don't even hear about Jairus kneeling down afterwards we don't even know where Jairus was afterwards after when he got what he wanted then at least Nicodemus is going there during the night he went there to Jesus Christ during the night as he went there during the night to look for a solution the Bible said that he began to ask Jesus and he said that very true the Bible said that you know verse okay let us read verse number three of John chapter three and uh, verse number four we're looking for verse number four but we'll start to read from verse number three the Bible said that Jesus replied very truly I tell you no one can see the kingdom of God unless they are born again no one can see you know just because Jara, uh, Nicodemus have put an effort to go to Jesus and Jesus he saw how much Nicodemus have hung out with the things of God he began to reveal the deep secrets of the kingdom of God and he says that you know very truly unless Hey, very truly, I tell you, no one can see the, the kingdom of God unless they are born again. Unless they are born again. There is a things which is called the, the, the things of the kingdom of God, which are prepared and reserved for those who are born again. For those who have received Jesus Christ as their Lord and their Savior. So only those people who are born again, only those people who are saved, 
can access the things of the, the things that God has prepared for those who love Him. As the Bible says that, no eye have seen, no ear have conceived, no mind has conceived the things that God has prepared for those who love Him. So it is. Unless a man is born again, cannot enter the kingdom of God. And the Bible says that verse number four, this is what Nicodemus going on asking a question. How can someone be born again when they're old? Nicodemus asked. Surely they cannot enter uh, a second time into their mother's womb to be born. This is Nicodemus talking. Uh, uh, what are you trying to talk about, Lord? What are you trying to talk about? You are talking about wonderful things to be born again. But how does one get born again? You know, this, uh, this is many people's problem. They don't know how to be born again. You know, this one thing I found out when I was preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. Many people don't know out there how to be born again. And you must not blame them. They just don't know. If many people know how to be born again and how easy it is to be born again, they were going to be born again. They were going to surrender their life to Christ. But they just don't know how. And sometimes some people, they see some people who are not born again, they think it is by choice. No. It's only few people who can know how to be born again and not accept Jesus. But it's not normal. It's not normal. It's only few people who can know how to be born again. And uh, after that, they reject. It is not normal. You know, I've been preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. Most of the time, even preaching to people who are not expect and at the time when they were not expecting to hear the word of God ex not expecting the to the gospel to be preached where they were on, on what they were doing they were not expecting at all I go out there as a stranger they don't even know that I'm the servant of God I go out there as a stranger and begin to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ I can tell you, 70% and some most of the time, even 100% of the people who were there, when they hear the gospel of Jesus Christ and how to be born again, they willingly confess with their mouth and believe with their heart and accept Jesus Christ as their Lord and their Savior. They willingly do, do so and easily so. I'm sure what they did, they were like, are you trying to say it is so easy to be born again? Are you saying it's so easy to be born again? Ah, uh ah, -uh, I just have not heard. I just did not know that this is so easy to be born again. Are you trying to say that I can have eternal life just like this? I can have so way just like this? Are you saying for real? I say, yes, this is what the Bible says. says oh, I love Jesus. Oh, I don't know whether you are hearing what I'm saying. 99%, not almost 100%, a normal person soberly, not possessed by a demon. They are willing to accept Jesus Christ. An ordinary person loves Jesus. Everyone, it is rare. When you find someone who says that they don't love Jesus, it's just because they have not heard about Jesus. They have not heard about the gospel of Jesus Christ. Everybody who can hear about the gospel of Jesus Christ will love Jesus. The gospel is sweet. The gospel is wonderful. The gospel is glorious. The gospel is glorious. That's what the Bible says that, you know, the, about the news about Jesus is called the good news. The gospel is called the good news. How can the good news not see it? How can the good news not wonderful? It's just that people don't know. But if they begin to know, 
what the gospel is all about. Everybody will say, I want to hear the sweet gospel. I want to hear the wonderful gospel of Jesus Christ. It's so wonderful. Many they have not heard. Many they have not taught. Many they did not. You know, sometimes, you know, some people they think the gospel of Jesus Christ is, is the gospel of condemnation. It's not of condemnation. Jesus Christ, what he's preaching, is not, not telling people, don't do this, don't do that. He's, that is not the first of the gospel. No! That is not the first of the gospel. Okay. Before we go on there, let us pass through the book of um, Romans chapter 10. O Rabasi Katia Vasun Tali Gradiasi Vradiasu. Amen. Amen. The Bible says that. Let us read from verse number 13. For everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. Everyone. That's how it should be. To, how easy it is to be also be saved. That's what Apostle Paul is talking about. Anyone who shall call upon the name of Jesus Christ shall be saved. The Bible doesn't say that, you know, you know, sometimes, sometimes we have went even to Shabins preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. Sometimes we went to people that were smoking drugs, smoking any kind of things. The gospel is not saying that, stop smoking and follow me. No! The Bible says that even when they are smoking that Zolo, smoking those drugs drinking that alcohol but if anyone can call upon Jesus Christ upon Jesus Christ whoever shall call upon the name of the Lord the Bible says, they will be saved they will be saved Jesus Christ they will receive Zoe they will receive eternal life he will enter them and sooner or later, most of those things that they were enjoying without Christ, they won't enjoy it anyway. Because Christ will be, Jesus Christ will be inside of them. When you talk about salvation, it is when Jesus Christ entered a person, entered a person's heart. Amen. That's when so you talk about to be born again. It's when Christ enters a person's heart. Amen. And the Bible says that verse number 11, 14, verse number 14 of Romans chapter 10, the Bible says that how can they call on the one whom they have not believed in? And how can they believe on the one whom they have not heard? You see, many people have not heard about Jesus, have not heard how to be saved, about how to be saved, have not heard how to be, how to be saved. Sometimes they've heard some of the things which are not the gospel at all. I want to tell you that not everything which is talked about in the pulpit is the gospel. Somebody have heard. You know, at church, it's all about money there. At church, it's all about money. It's the devil lying to them. You see those pastors when they are wearing, wearing those beautiful suits? Yes, some having private jets, some having many cars. They say, it's because they are taking money from the people. Who told them that? It's a lie. But the devil lies to them. And they think, oh, those pastors love money. The, the gospel, when you hear about the gospel, gospel is all about money. They are looking, when you hear them, they are looking for your money. No, it's a lie. We are not every, we are not after anybody's money. Our God blesses. Our God blesses. Where God can bless you. And you can have resources other than depending even on anyone. God just blessing you. Just that the devil tries to find many things that identify the gospel, which is not the gospel at all. So that people when they hear about, when they hear a preacher just opening the mouth, in their head, they think, hey, this one is after my pocket. Some, they say, you see those, all those pastors, they are, hey, they love the things of this world too much. That's why they are preaching. Somebody say, ah, really? I'm running away because when they begin to open their mouth, it's all about to, 
can't know. No, 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 no. There is a gospel of Jesus Christ. Which when we open our mouths, we want to speak. That for God so loved the world. That he gave his only begotten son. So that whoever will believe upon him shall be saved. And have everlasting life. You can have life. You can, have, you can be born again. You can have eternal life. Christ can be in you. The hope of glory. Then, then just because of the stereotype and what the devil wants the people to think when we be just when we are just opening, you know, like it, I've seen it several times. Sometimes when you are posting, just to post on Facebook in different groups, some people when they see us posting in different groups, they think maybe we are after money. Which money are we after? We are too blessed to be begging for money. I don't know whether you are hearing what I'm saying. Amen. Amen. We are too blessed. If, if we can show you these offers that you are signing, it's not, it's not to 10 cents. It's a man that you are working for. Then some people, when they see us posting, they think we are scammers. We are not scamming anybody. We don't have any interest in scamming anyone. We are just trying to say that there is Jesus Christ. Amen. Who is the way? Who is the truth? Who is the life? Who have died on the cross of Calvary? So that anyone who Amen. believes upon him may be saved and have everlasting life. Amen. That's all. Amen. There is no any hidden agenda. But the enemy have made it as if when we are saying in the name of Jesus Christ there is any hidden agenda. There is no any hidden agenda. If we have got any hidden agenda it's for them to be saved. It's for them to be blessed. It's for them to be healed. Genuinely. When we say call on this number you will be. We mean it. We have seen the power of God healing. We have seen the power of God blessings. We have seen the power of God changing life, including our own. And we believe he can do the same in theirs. Genuinely. Not because we have got any hidden agenda. But the devil, make it as if servants of God have got hidden agenda. But I'm, I'm speaking for them tonight. They don't have hidden agenda. The hidden agenda is for, their, for, for everyone to be saved and go to heaven. Then the Bible says, how can they believe on the one whom they have not heard? And how can they hear unless without someone preaching to them? How can they hear when they think the wrong things about the preachers? And how can they preach unless they are sent? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of those who bring the good news. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Say fire, yeah, 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 yeah. Fire, yeah, 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 yeah. Say, I love the word of God. I love the word of God. I love the word of God. I'm enjoying the word of God. I'm enjoying the word of God. I'm enjoying the word of God. Yes, then Nicodemus was asking relevant questions, powerful questions, in which Jesus said that in the book of John chapter 3, verse number 5. Jesus answered, Very truly, I tell you, no one can enter the kingdom of God unless they are born of the water and of the Spirit. Unless they are born of the water and the Spirit. But I want to tell you this. No one can be born again unless except they receive Jesus Christ as their Lord and their Savior. That's how simple it is. If anyone need, need to be born again, if anyone want to have their way, if anyone want to have a God kind of life, they have to do a simple thing, which is just to accept that Jesus Christ is the Son of the living God, who have come into the world and died for their sins, and he came back to life, so that we may be saved Amen. and have ever. That's all. Oh, that's how easy it is. 
But many people, because they don't know, that's why they're not born again. But it is important for someone to continue to speak the gospel of Jesus Christ. You know, I've told you before, when you're preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ out there, sometimes some people who... who when they are out there, when they have heard, when they hear us preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ, who have kept quiet, who have kept quiet and did not want the gospel to be preached, some of those people were even Christians, were even born again because they were not taught. They did not know the significance of preaching the gospel. When Jesus Christ said, Go ye into the world and preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. In all, in all creation, and whoever believes upon him shall be saved and have everlasting life. They don't know. They are not taught. You know, some of them, they think that the gospel must be preached on Sundays. Some of them, they think that the gospel must only be preached at church. No. The Bible said that Jesus, after his death, after his resurrection, he said, Go ye into the world and preach the gospel. And, and to, hey, every Christian, and whoever will believe and will be baptized will be saved. Amen. Go ye. Uh, he didn't say, Go and preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. And on church on Sunday, you, you have to hear about the gospel of Jesus Christ on Sunday. No. Everywhere, Amen. the gospel must be preached. Because the lost and those who, who are lost are not at church. Many of them are out there. Many of them are out there. They don't want to go to church. That means the gospel must be preached everywhere. Amen. Everywhere, including in the bar. Including in the bar, the gospel must be preached. Including in the street, the gospel must be preached. Including the hospital. Including schools. Amen. Those who are saying that the gospel must be taken out. You know, they have said that it must be taken out of schools. But everywhere the gospel must be preached. Because there is no any other name in which you may be saved. Amen. It's only the name of Jesus Christ which we have been given for our salvation. For our healing, Amen. for our blessing, for our protection. That's why we need to preach that gospel of Jesus Christ everywhere. Amen. And we are not saying that you're going to be preaching the gospel because they will be saying preach it. Some of them, they will say that don't preach it. I'm talking about sometimes the same people whom you are trying to save, so trying to help. Some of them, they will say that don't preach it. Why are you preaching the gospel? But you know, as a child of God, you, you must know, you must know that you are called. You are sent to speak on God's behalf and never stop, no matter Amen. what they say. Amen. It's the same thing. You find a nurse giving a medication, trying to help someone who is sick, and the person who is sick does not want medication. But you must not stop because you're trying to save the one who's sick. Amen. It's like even the teachers trying to teach people whom you're trying to for, for them to pass one day, but they don't want to be taught. But if you know what you're doing, you must continue to teach, whether they like it or not, just that they don't know. They just don't know, but you know, continue to do it as a child of God. Opening the door, supporting the gospel, making sure that the gospel is preached until we get out of this world, until the last person is saved. Because that person, one day, when you're going to meet in heaven, they will say, thank you for that day. Thank you for that day that you have preached. I just did it. No. I just didn't know that this is the only way to heaven. You have saved my life. You have saved my life by that service. You have saved my life by leading me to Christ. Because some people, they are going to be born again. and never knew that they are born again. Amen. But they have opened their hearts. They have confessed. They have meant it when they accepted Jesus Christ as their Lord and their Savior. 
and they will have everlasting Amen. life. Child of God, Amen. the word of God have revealed to us that Jesus Christ have got eternal life. And whoever have got Jesus Christ have got eternal life and God kind of life. The word of God have revealed that to us. Amen. And that eternal life is imparted, is given when we preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. And when they believe on our gospel, that's why don't stop. If you have not started, we have to continue to make sure that the gospel is preached by every means possible. Whether the devil likes it or not, whether the demons like it or not, whether the witches like, like it or not, it must never matter. Then I want us tonight to go and pray. Preparing to pray, God, help me to do my part for the gospel to spread that they may be saved and have everlasting life. <laughs> Anything which is not of God. Anything which is not of God. Anything which is not of God. In my life. In my life. In my life. In my body. In my body. In my body. In my career. In my career. In my career. In our country. In our country. In our countries. In every sector of my life. In every sector of my life. Catch fire now. 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 I command them. I command them. Come on. Come on. them to the abbey. I command, I command them, them to the abbey. abbey. Say let there be miracle joy. Let there be miracle joy. Miracle joy. Miracle joy. Miracle joy. Miracle joy. Say I command. I command. I command. Everything to turn around for my goal. Everything to turn around for my goal. Say everything. 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 Turn around. Turn around. Turn around. For my goal. For my goal. Say, let there be progress. Let there be progress. Let there be progress. 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 In 
every sector of my life. In every sector of my life. Progress. Progress. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Say Lord Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ. You are my Lord. You are my Lord. You are my Lord. You are my Savior. You are my Savior. You are my Savior. Wash me with your blood. Wash me with your Wash me blood. with your blood. Forgive me my sins. Forgive me my sins. Forgive me my sins. Bless me today. Bless me today. Bless me today. Protect me from today. Protect me from Protect today. Protect me from today. With your power. With your power. With your power. Of the Holy Spirit. Of the Holy Spirit. Of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus. In the name of In Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Send me the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. May the grace of our Lord, May the grace Jesus, of our Lord Jesus Christ. The love of God. The love of God. The love of God. The fellowship of the Holy Spirit. The fellowship of the, the, Holy, Spirit. Of the Holy Spirit. Be with us all. Be with us all. Be with us all. Surely goodness and love. Surely goodness and love. Surely goodness and love. Shall follow me. Shall follow me. All the days of my life. All the days of my All the days life. of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. And I will dwell in the house of And the I will Lord dwell forever. in the house of the Lord forever. In the name of Jesus. In the name of, in the Jesus. Name of Jesus. Also tonight we are saying is day number number seven of twenty one and we are continuing to pray. And we are continuing to fast and we are continuing to plant a seed. And this ministry this time is fasting offering. It's fasting offering, continue to fast. We are saying find another ministry and give to that ministry. As you are being a blessing in these 21 days, this ministry will also be giving. But if at the last result there is no ministry that you can give, you can give to this one. Because we are combining the power of prayer, the power of fasting, and the power of a seed. A seed has got a power. Uh, if you want to prosper financially, I've realized it is the truth. You just have to offer, continue to offer faithfully, and you will see the finger of God. God is not a robber. And I want to say to us tonight, may God bless you. And have a blessed night in Jesus' name. Bye bye, everybody. Have a blessed morning, day, and afternoon, and night. Amen. Bye bye. Amen. Bye. Bye.